So, what an eight and a day update. Oof. Can't wait today. Uh, 77.5 kilos and um, six foot tall. What I eat in a day. I'm not what I eat in a day for a while, but it's the same as always, man. It's the same as always. Um, why is my weight so heavy? Normally, go back to some of my early videos. I'm 59 kilos, 60 kilos, 64 kilos, 65 kilos. That was pre anabolics. If you take anabolic steroids, if you take the contraceptive pill, your weight goes up. All right? This is how it is. Um, I guess, I guess, you know, also dose dependent. All right? If you're taking, you know, a milligram of test a week, 10 milligrams a week as a guy, not much is really going to happen. 30 milligrams a week, not much is going to happen, really. Um, but uh, we're talking normal dosages. Contraceptive pill, girls, weight goes up. The Mirena, IUD, weight goes up. This is how it is. You hold more water, you hold more fluid, you hold more fat, things like that. So muscle, bone, blood. Plasma, etc. So, most of you watch my channel because they're looking for weight loss. But if you notice that, you know, this camera doesn't really show it too well, but my body fat is, you know, it's always really, really, like my face. Look at my face, you know, I'm like, put on the best lighting, but just always sculpted, crack addict, train station, train spotter face. You know, that's low fat diet, right? Low fat diet. I see so many people out there. You know, like doing crazy stuff, just trying to get a lean face, man. Just cut the fat. Under 20 grams a day, under 10 grams a day. Under 20. Not getting results? Under 10. Get disciplined with it, get strict with it. Fat intake, keep it low. How many grams of fat do I eat? Um, well, I'm trying to bulk, but still be lean bulk, still keep relatively lean face, um, and keep athletic function, keep heart health. So that's pretty important to me. Should be important to everybody, heart <laughs> health. So I'll keep my fat. Some days it's under 10, some days it's 20, some days it's 50, some days it's 100 in a day. But if I'm over 100, I'm getting more greasy skin, my scalp starts itching, etc. Um, you know, but what do I eat in a day? Boom, let's answer the question, do not. Same man, it's always the same pretty much. It's vegan, it's high carb focus, it's always avoiding hunger. Like, if, you're hung if I'm hungry, I'm not productive, you know. Like, I love to be satisfied. And for me, that requires carbohydrate. Sweet carbohydrate. Starchy carbohydrate. Juicy, sweet, juicy carbohydrate. A mix of those during the day, etc. Breakfast, uh, fruit. You know, I'll have any fruit I can get. I was on my friend's fruit farm recently. And, man, just every morning, waking up, oranges. Just as much oranges as I wanted. Um, pomelos. These incredible pomelos he had there, like... And these oranges, man, like, jackfruit. jackfruit, we had jackfruit as well, um, Natasha just said that, it's this mark over here, these oranges were insane, man, you know, like, these are the sweetest oranges in the world, and I was going to get some oranges yesterday from the supermarket, now I'm back here in Adelaide, and I looked at them, I was just, I, was back, I grabbed them like that, and, uh, they're going to be let down, you know, my hand went like that, and I was like, oh, what's the point, I mean, eating these acidic tasting flavor I'm not grateful to have I'm grateful to have the supermarket grateful for money to food not being ungrateful I'm just saying these oranges are off the charts man off the charts sugar sweet off the tree they were so sweet I was biting into them off the tree like an apple almost oh, the sweetness in terms of just you know the skin wasn't that acidic so just yeah fruit breakfast uh, lunch I'll go fruit as well especially if it's hot for me having rice for lunch it's a bit like oof you know if I'm going to have rice for lunch or cereal for lunch, like I just did then, I had ran out of fruit. I had cornflakes with sugar. Just pour the sugar on as much sugar as I wanted. Just pour, like full on. Just caked it on there. You know, dun, 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 probably about 10 seconds to pour the sugar on. Uh, low fat uh, almond milk or soy milk or oat milk, whatever. And then I had uh, two scoops, big, big scoops of vegan pea protein powder. Because again, if you're on steroids, increase your protein synthesis then it makes sense to eat more protein. Otherwise, you just, the protein is turning the fat or you're peeing it out or whatever. Well, it's just, you know, so yeah, the higher your testosterone levels are, estrogen, you're going to store more protein as muscle in the body. Just how it is. Protein synthesis. So if you're not eating enough protein when you're on steroids, then the steroids won't work as effectively. Right? They'll still shuttle the glycogen enhanced into your muscles, etc. You still put on muscle, you put on weight, but 
the more protein you eat when you're on steroids, you just grow, you get heavier, all right, so depends what your goal is, you know, but most of people, your goal is weight loss, so um, where I'm switching up now is I'm eating more fat, I'm eating more protein because I want to get on those scales and see an increase in number every few days, okay, now obviously I don't want to become a fat slug, you know, and have unhealthy heart and blah, 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 but by eating more fat, it'll increase my insulin levels just a bit uh, without having insulin resistance. Just keep them up a bit and help that anabolic processes go along there. So if your goal is to lose weight, and for dinner, so lunch, fruit, 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 or cornflakes, water, sugar, soy milk, if I'm in a weight gain phase, then protein, 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 like edamame beans, chickpeas, you know, just protein, protein, protein. Tofu is tempeh. I had like a, a block of tempeh last night, a block of tofu last night. L- veggie burgers. I try and go the, the lower fat ones. Otherwise, your skin's like an oil mess and your hair's like an oil mess. Um, and you get insulin resistance from the oil, from the fat, because fat blocks insulin receptor sites. You know, it's, it's diabetes 101. Um, and. Yeah, watermelon. The Natasha had watermelon blended with sugar this morning. And you've always got to have as much as you want. Now, obviously, Natasha's not on a weight gain thing, so she's not smashing in the protein grams like I am and using anabolics, etc., because she wants to keep that ballerina, teen, queen, Instagram influencer physique longevity going on. That's that's great. Uh, we, we like that. So it depends what your goal is. You know, so if your goal is... If you want to jump on the scales, which I don't really recommend doing, <laughs> like because most people, the scales is like... They just, their day is ruined because, oh, I'm going to kill, I'm trying to lose a kilo, and it's just like, they just do stupid shit. I'm tracking the scales, I'm weighing myself because I'm tracking dosages and protein intake, etc. for a little bit of science here, uh, personal experimentation. Um, but if you're using the scales for weight loss, don't. Get rid of the scales. Right? Just, fucking, just, fl- just fuck them off, you know? Only use scales if you're on a weight gain journey, so you can sort of track the progress with dosages, etc., um, but yeah, let's say I wanted to, let, okay, let's do a hypothetical, let's say I'm, I'm now 78, 77 kilos today, I want to go down to 60 kilos, as fast as possible, well, hypothetically, let's say I'm, I'm going to do a, a, you know, some machinist YouTube series or whatever, I would instantly stop taking anabolic steroids, alright, steroids make you gain weight, the scale goes up, alright, steroids don't make you lean, Steroids just increase muscle, bone, fat in some people because they increase your digestion rate. People say, oh, no, steroids make you jacked, make you lean. No, no, they make you muscular, heavier. All right? Look at all the powerlifters who take th- you know, three or four grams a week of testosterone. Do they look strip re- lean as? No, they're strong as a house. I could pick up a car and throw it past your letterbox, but they have massive bellies and a lot of breast tissue and blah, big a neck as thick as my torso just big bears you know they're not lean at all if steroids made you lean then people wouldn't be doing all these crazy crash diets and clenbuterol and all this stupid stuff thyroid meds and all this, you know, this cocaine and stimulants to avoid eating and smoking cigarettes brushing their teeth you know, bulimia all this crap to get lean all right so steroids don't make you lean they add muscle you know insane amount of muscle depending on your genetics, depending on the dosage, depending on protein and training intake. So I want to go from 78 down to 60 kilos, no steroids, no steroids. I would, um, I would park my e-bike, I would, you know, put it in the shed and just ride my bike, my normal bike, my road bike. I would go back to training with the fast riders again, who ride most days of the week. I would do fast bunch rides. I would keep my fat intake under 10 grams a day, which is very easy to do. You've got white rice, sugar, and fruit. That's what I live on. White rice, sugar, and fruit. That's it. That's it. White rice, sugar, and fruit. I'd have uh, sugar and water and white rice for dinner. I would have some vegetables and maybe some beans. Um, not too many because keep your protein intake lower for anabolic, catabolic effect. <laughs> And so that then that would and I can know because I've been there. I've been sixty kilos. Okay, I've been fifty nine kilos at six foot tall. Um, you know, so I know what it takes to get there. Obviously, it's not a good look at my age, my height. I'm just saying hypothetically, because um, maybe let's say I was a woman and I wanted to be a, a catwalk model. Okay, so if you're sixty kilos at six foot, then yeah, that's sort of around about it. You know, for that weight, it's maybe fifty five kilos. I could go down to even more than that. You know, who knows? But I'm just saying that. 
you know, that's that's just why I laugh when people say, oh, you know, I can't lose weight, it's so hard. And I'm like, man, like, no, like, like the body wants to lose weight. The body wants to be in a catabolic state because the knee joints and the spine don't like excess weight. Like, we're not designed to be lugging around. That's why people take anabolic steroids. That's why the rock and the, and these, uh, you know, Mike O'Hearn and all these fake natives out there, these, these big guys, Schwarzenegger, etc., cetera, um, Athlete X, you know, Greg Doucette, the YouTubers, you know, the Instagram people, you know, looking muscular, looking aesthetic, looking, you know, Chris Hemsworth, all these people are taking anabolics because, and you see that their, their, their physiques vary over the year, over the mo- movies or the months or whatever, you're like, hang on, what? So it's a photo of someone, you're like, wow, you posted that photo yesterday, you look jacked, you know, this person's posted a paparazzi shot of you, you look... You almost look a bit normal. Because these people don't blast high dosage steroids all the time. There's ups and downs. You've got to give your liver a break and stuff like that. So understanding the truth about weight loss and weight gain gives you that freedom. You go, oh, okay. Gives you direction. You know what's going on. Um, so that's just the, that's just the deal. You know, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, don't wish people knew, I wish more people knew the truth so they wouldn't be getting scammed and hustled and finessed. And they could go, ah, wow. Carbs make you lean. Fat adds fat. Protein is for bulking and puffier looking and bigger, more weight, more anabolic, especially if you're using anabolic steroids, which I don't recommend you do. I'm just saying, this is this is the truth here. Um, so that's just how it is, you know. Like the body, the body, it loses weight like so easily if your thyroid's healthy. But what happens is people do water fasting and they try and speed up the weight loss. They try and like they teach their body like what's an analogy like just you know like it like a like a little headlamp here they, they just turn it on the whole time and and just hit and when the, the light starts to fade they hit it with a hammer you know oh, i'm gonna start i'm gonna i'm gonna caffeine caffeine oh no no carb like sugar-free sources i'm gonna lose weight and jump on the scales three times a day dr greg orthorexia style and rah, 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 you know and, and they're just like obsessing over how how to get lean as possible as soon as possible, rah, 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 and just just the, like the body doesn't if your body's losing weight like that, like linear, just down, with no variation like like that, you're you're really doing some damage, all right? It's like the, the body, the weight goes up and down like that when you're going up, and when you're going back down, it's going back. It's like stairs, you know, down the stairs. If people try and like doing a freaking slippery slide, and that's just going to crash your thyroid. Your TSH is going to go up, your T3, T4 are going to tank, and you're going to become a weight storer. You know, you're going to become like a rebound anabolic effect but you'll be puffy you have this big puffy face and doesn't make a bad person I'm just saying puffy face puffy neck puffy chest puffy gut just like puffy arms no definition no striations you just look look, look, look you look puffy you look like the Pillsbury Doughboy man and that's fine I'm just saying that's that's a a, a metabolic saving effect of the body because you put it in a post-starvation adaptive thermogenesis situation where your body's going, okay, we're, we just did went through starvation. We've got to hold on to fat and fluid for the next starvation, next famine, because otherwise we might die. So there's people who have this puffiness. I've been there myself back in the day. Um, it's just, you know, it doesn't matter how you get there. If you do it deliberately or by accident, because you're trying to be like diet purity or blah, 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 or like the body doesn't care like, how you get there. If you force it or it's by accident, you know, look, example could be someone with anorexia who's forcing it, who's not eating, you know, who's using stimulants and Adderall and caffeine to avoid eating, cigarettes and nicotine to avoid eating, versus someone who's stranded, you know, on a, on a ship or a plane wreck, and they've got no food. They want to eat, man. They want to eat, but I've got nothing to eat because I'm stranded. Help me. Or prisoner of war camp, etc. They want to eat. The body doesn't care whether you fast, you starve yourself or you've been starved, you know, deliberate or consequential body doesn't care about that body just goes into rebound state survival that's why people who often come into my program start to gain weight they're like hey I'm eating like you you must be lying because I'm going up and you're like so skinny and lean you have to use steroids to reach the weight I'm at at 5 foot 2 you're 78 kilos I'm 78 kilos and what you must be lying no 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 I haven't damaged my thyroid like you have you know you starved yourself and now you're in metabolic adaptive thermogenesis phase and that will go up and then eventually it'll go down. All right. That's just oh, it's just everyone. That's me in 2003. I was trying to do raw food diet in 2002, and just you know not eating enough and just unorganized. So I was in a starvation situation, you know, that I didn't think I was in, but I was in just because I was trying to like eat a raw, like a raw food as fruitarian and stuff like that, and just silly stuff you do in your 20s, inexperienced, unorganized, and um, 
So I was like, okay, cool. 2003, I did over 30,000 K, but I was like 73 kilos and puffy looking. You know, I was like, well, I've done the most training ever in my life and I'm sort of looking puffy. I mean, I look healthy, I'm fine. I'm just saying from a performance standpoint, it's pretty average. I was like, ah, oh, that's what happened, you know? And then, so that's what makes me a good coach because I've been there, done that. So what I eat in the day uh, depends what my goals are. If I want to stay lean, stay skinny, stay ripped, stay shredded abs, super low fat, under 10 grams of fat per day, 20 grams of fat per day less, unlimited sugar, unlimited fruit, unlimited white rice, unlimited corn, unlimited baked or steamed potatoes, avoiding oil at all costs, avoiding nuts and seeds and avocados at all costs, you know, vegan, obviously, I'm an animal, animal, uh, animal man over here, I'm the animal, um, you know, animal products are definitely anabolic, like it's, you know, if whether you're a vegan or not, if you're trying to get your lowest weight or leaner self, it's, you know, it's harder with animal products in there, obviously you eat a fly, I'm not going to do much, you have a, you know, a, a razor slice of an egg, it's not going to do much, you know what I'm saying, though? like you you stand people eating this animal based diet, they're like, trying to get lean, I'm trying to get slim down, it's like, you're eating foods that, a 400 pound strong man is, is wanting to eat to have as much mass, much puff and size to be able to bounce those logs around without injuring their back, etc. Which they do anyway. <laughs> you know, like the injuries these people have, it's just, it's insane. Um, it's insane. Uh, yeah. You only have one spine, you only have one pancreas, one liver, one brain, one heart. Like, look after them, man. So that's the deal. What do I eat in a day? It's uh, always high carb, and if I'm trying to gain weight, trying to see the scales go up, it's more fat, more protein, and a little bit less carb. Because if you're filling up on carbs, if you fill up on sugar, you fill up on white rice, fill up on fruit, it's really, really hard to eat enough protein and fats to really create that anabolic effect. It just, it just makes it harder. So when I go to restaurants now, I'll have more, I'll have le- less rice and more protein, more tofu, because if you, if you, if you feel like you're bailing for white rice, and they've got to cram in 200 grams or 400 grams of protein, tofu, or whatever, you're like, oh my god, like, 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 it's, just, it's hard to do, man, so you're eating, eating less rice, you can eat more fat, more protein, and the weight can go up, okay, if you fill up on these low-fat foods, you'll be freaking a twig, which is great, if you're a cyclist, or a runner, or a ballerina, or if you're a model, that's awesome, you know, there's, that's not bad, but if you want to be, you know, a few fingers or whatever, wider, eat more fat and protein, simple as that, um, but you always got to have carbohydrate, you know, otherwise, you know, you, you're going to fucking, you're going to, you're going to fail, mentally, mood, everything, you sleep, can't sleep properly, if you don't have carbohydrate, so I make sure I get my carbs in, so I can sleep, and so I have mood and drive and stuff like that, um, you know, it's, it's so important, you're like, carbohydrate's the most important thing for drive, mood, sleep quality, etc. carbs, White rice, sugar, and fruits every day, right? Corn's great, potatoes are great, but I think the magic ones are fruit. You've got to have fruit for breakfast, man. You've got to have fruit for breakfast as much as you want. Sweet, juicy fruit. Um, and, uh, you know, white rice is magical, and refined white sugar is magical. Brown sugar is, yeah, it's good as well, but something about white refined sugar just, just hits different. Now, if, let's say... I'm going to, by unlimited food, I mean unlimited food, as much as you want, all right, when you go and have a pee, unlimited pee, all right, you don't, you don't, you don't stop halfway for your pee and go, okay, well, I've been in the toilet long enough, it's time to get up, you know, or you're having to dump and you're cutting the cable, and you say, oh, just, you, just, you, know, you think, you think to, oh, that's enough, I've done half, that's okay, half's enough, and you, you know, <laughs> you, know you, fall, you unlimited dump, unlimited piss, you unlimited carbohydrate, unlimited sleep, you, just, you don't get out of bed until you're done, all right, Ideally, go to bed earlier, right? If you can sleep till 2, you should sleep till 2. But ideally, get up and go to bed at 8 o'clock that night so you start this better cycle, right? As much sleep as you want, as much carbs as you want, as much water as you want, etc., etc. The water one can be tricky because often people wait till they're thirsty, then you wait till too long. You know? All this is covered in detail, simple detail in my ebooks at drinkrod.com. Had to be salesy, but they are the best books for lifestyle, performance, especially weight loss. Weight loss is my forte, but now I'm doing weight gain, you know, so that's very interesting as well. I'm like, man, every day I'm thinking, this is tough, man, like, gaining weight, like, seeing the scales go up is is really, really hard, you know. I'm having to break my protocol by eating more fat and protein, and obviously using anabolics, they're the, they're the biggest ones, but, um, 
it's, it's amazing, you know. As I just, yeah. I guess that's what makes me a really, really good trainer is I'm transparent when it comes to, you know, all these things, the things that matter for you. And uh, I have experience. You know, I'm not talking from a university degree where you don't learn shit. You just, you learn stuff, but you're not, you know, you're not, you're not learning it, like, through living it. You're just, like, parroting it, like, yeah, that's like, that. It's like, dude, that's why you're going to get results because you parroted a freaking textbook versus what is real life, man. What is real life, you know? It's crazy. It's like asking what a woman wants. She's not going to tell you. She wants you to know. But she'll tell you a bit, a half-truth. And you're like, well, that's the truth. No, no, it's not the truth, you idiots. <laughs> you, you noob. Not an idiot, you noob. You know, when you get experience with them, you realize, oh, yes means no, and no means yes. Okay, and certain times of the month, and blah, 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 blah. And sometimes no means no, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, like, it's just, people take things too literal in a book. Like, blah, 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 blah. It's a scientific study. Blah, 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 blah. Who funded it? What was the bias? You know what I mean? Was it some professor trying to get back at the ex by doing a, f- a study that promoted this? All these things can be corrupted easily. Biases. We all have our biases, but my bias for you is to get results, especially weight loss, you know. And I see people committing suicide. I see people really struggling because they're starving themselves of carbohydrate or they're ru- or and or they're trying to rush things, man. And your metabolism, like you just, you know, even me, I'm getting impatient. I'm like, come on, let's, the scales go up, go up. You know, like, let's go 2,000 milligram a week. No, 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 no. You just got to stay and, you know, stay low and, and go, go, go. Like, you just, but it's easy to get impatient, oh, speed up results. You know, that's why guys, you just blast. I get these, you've seen these guys get stretch marks just through here, all right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Just not, not distant or whatever. It's, it's just purely a cosmetic observation. You see guys jacked, they get these stretch marks through here. And that's because they blasted so much steroids at the start and just poof, just gain so much weight, so much muscle that the skin just couldn't really catch up. All right, so that explains that one. So when you see people that I'm not sure, never use steroids, and they've got these big stretch marks here, and they look and swollen and jacked like Chris Hemsworth. You're like, yeah, okay, whatever, mate. That's pretty insecure to deny taking steroids when obvious is you know, obvious is obvious. But yeah, so you should be patient, gain weight or losing weight. Patience is a virtue, and uh, it's not about the end process; it's about the uh, the journey. You know, it's not about the end result. Sorry, it's about the process getting to that result. The journey is the gift. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Hopefully that answers the question. Breakfast, fruit, fruit, fruit. Lunch, fruit, fruit, fruit. If I'm doing a running race at 8 a.m., 5K or something like that, I'll have like a cup of water and a piece of fruit or some tablespoon of sugar. Otherwise, you've got too much food in your belly, bouncing around, performance, down. And then, as soon as I finish that run, boom, water, water, sugar, sugar. All right, then I'll have my normal routine. But I you know, do a running race probably 20 or 30 times a year okay so but that's the exception where i won't have as much as i want in the morning because i gotta go run 5k otherwise you're gonna be spewing it up everywhere you can't run as fast because your diaphragms you know getting contracted from too much uh, too much food in there that doesn't need to be in there because you're only running 5k so train light you know uh, race light but you also want to have enough but again this is all in my ebooks and my other videos uh we can talk about this forever um so yeah hopefully that answers the question what i eat in the day always unlimited carbohydrate except when I'm trying to gain weight so I'm limiting my carbohydrate a little bit so I can add in more fat have more room for more fat and protein and what you see obese people is they limit their carbs so they can have more room for fat and protein but they're trying to lose weight and it's like we're doing it the other way around aren't you man the misinformation out there is it's crazy